Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Surviving Mars. So, we are already building our first dome, but before we bring the first colonist, we are going to need a few more things. So, first of all, the water. That's one of the reasons we are building down here, to be close to the underground water deposit. We can already place the water extractor, preferably not too close to the dome. Connect it with some pipes, like this, and with a power cable. Speaking of power cables, we are definitely going to need more power generation, because what we have right now is not nearly enough. And also maybe another water tower or two. We already have one water tower, but they only require metals for maintenance, so that's really not a big deal. We can certainly use another one or two. So let's get two more water towers, not too close to the extractors. One over here, and one more. Then some pipes. There we go. Alright, and we'll wait for all of that first. Any anomalies going on? There is one down here, but right now we have a meteor storm happening. So it might be best to wait it out before we send our explorer that way. You know, just to be safe. Because if a meteor hits our explorer, we will not be able to do anything about that, because we don't have an RC rover. We'll just wait, there's no huge rush, it's fine. Also, it might be a good idea to move some of our resources. Where's the Universal Depot? Right here. We should probably move a few electronics and machine parts. Oh, actually, I think we still have a lot inside the rocket. Yes, we do, actually. Alright, let's take care of that. I think it's best if we build dedicated storage for electronics and machine parts at this point. Might as well do that. So, like this. We are going to need food depot eventually. Might as well just place it right away. And that's probably enough at this point. Alright, we can send the transport to gather some metals. Might as well give it something to do. In fact, we can use the transport route. Load a resource, and then unload the resource. And then he will just go and do that. Without us having to babysit him. So, let's play on max speed. And let's check our research queue. We got fuel compression researching and then wireless power queued up. This will give us more funding because of our sponsor. And once we're done with all of that, I think we are going to research a drone hub. Hopefully we'll get some anomalies that will give us research to speed things up. Because we are going to need a drone hub up here before we launch the rocket. We could get a prefab from Earth, but I'd rather just build it myself. We can do one or the other, but right now we still have to refuel the rockets. We'll have to launch this one first. So, how's that dome? We need some more concrete, alright? You know what we also need? We need more drones. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to reassign a few drones. We can do that. We got five around the rocket. Okay, let's reassign a few of them to the hub. Just need to do it manually. So off you go. Come on, I'm talking to you. How many is that now? Sector scanned. Six. All right, that's better. Sector scanned. Nothing interesting in there. Now, I suppose we could go and pick up that anomaly if we babysit our explorer. Because there is an indication where a meteor is going to hit, which means you don't have a chance to move out of the way before that happens. So all we have to do is keep an eye on him. Let's just do that. How's that extractor coming along? We need some machine parts. Alright. So let's keep an eye on him. 
we should get at least 1000 research from this which will finish our current research that's fuel compression is actually almost done already come on get to work oh speaking of research one thing i would definitely like to get is soil adaptation because that will unlock a farm which is a much better way to get food early on so i think the drone hub can wait or fuel compression can wait you know what wait did i mess that up research no it's fine so finish fuel compression and then we'll get soil adaptation and then we can get the drone hub and once all of that is done we'll go for the breakthrough the breakthrough will give us more funding but these free techs are pretty important so i would really like to get them asap this should give us at least 1000 research like i said and hopefully we'll find more anomalies Milestone achieved yeah as you can see there's a warning when a meteor is about to hit the area research complete. there we got 1250 nice and the dome is done we won't be using it just yet in fact it's best if we turn it off for now because it doesn't need to be turned on we are definitely going to need more power because domes need a lot of power so i'm thinking at least one more wind turbine somewhere over here and then a few more solar panels that definitely won't hurt let's get a few four or five solar panels okay five solar panels and then a few power accumulators that should be enough they use polymers so that shouldn't be a big problem because polymers are the easiest advanced resource to make you only really need water you convert water into fuel and then you convert fuel into polymers so that's not a problem at all now the dome is going to need a few things first of all it's going to need living space so that's living quarters living quarters will take an entire section over here then we are going to need food so the farm we will wait for our research for that so that's going to be soil adaptation it's already almost done thanks to that anomaly then we are going to need some services now what exactly we'll need will depend on the colonists because each colonist has different needs some of them might need drinking some of them might need social some of them might need gaming so we'll wait with that but we are going to need either a grocer or a diner a grocer will be better because that doesn't require any power and not as many workers so that doesn't take as much space as the living quarters we can place it right here then we can get a research lab because that will speed up our research this also takes three tiles like so so we can do something like this then we can place a one tile park small garden that provides some relaxation exercise and playing that uses one tile and we still have one small area to use so we can use that for some services depending on what exactly we want we can wait with that one oh actually we can get an infirmary because that's pretty important so right here that should be enough space there we go so now this entire section is full now we have to you know actually build all of that how's research coming along almost done with soil adaptation any new anomalies nope but we are working on it oh yeah there's a new one down here that's probably from a meteor you know what let's just wait 15 hours for the meteor storm to end might as well there's no huge rush anyway how's our power setup 
anomaly working on it and another new anomaly nice okay what about the transport let's go get some more metals shall we 13 metals over here how about we go slightly further away 23 metals all right that works so load and then unload off you go anomaly found oh hold on i clicked the right mouse button should have been left and let's try that again no not like that load and unload there we go now he will go do that oh another scan is done and we found some rare metals did we yes we did so that's super useful because with rare metals you can get more funding you can use the rare metals either to get more funding by exporting them back to earth or to manufacture some electronics this is actually almost in range of our first dome okay well good to know we'll just get another dome in this general area later it shouldn't take too long to build a second dome anomaly found another new anomaly nice that is quite a few anomalies already let's go check them out right away so first this one this should give us at least 1000 research, research complete and speaking of research does the farm let's queue up a few more things so drone hub is next then wireless power we can also unlock the fungal farm which is an out dome building that produces food what else do we have here systematic training scientists and botanists have a plus 10 performance when working in their specialty yes that's very useful because we will have both scientists and botanists working in their specialty what else can we get we can increase our research by getting explorer ai yep that works technically it would be more efficient to get explorer ai first but i want all these other tags asap i suppose systematic training can wait a little bit longer and wireless power can also wait so hold on get the drone hub first because we definitely need that then we'll get the research boost hey, where was that right here so explorer ai then we can get the breakthrough and then systematic training and once we are done with all that we'll see it shouldn't even take that long because these are mostly cheap techs it gets way more expensive than that like some of the later techs require 15,000 research so that's a lot one more thing we can do is outsource which basically means you are paying for extra research we can pay 200 to get extra 1000 in the next five days yeah sure we can do that all right carry on here's the anomaly and we can build the farm that also takes an entire section which is fine so like this and let the drones do their thing anomaly it might take a little bit of time there's the anomaly we'll go recharge and then check the others this isn't a lot of rare metals only 521 but it's high grade vehicle battery low which one oh the transport right that's not a problem it's already back first unload that's 23 metals are we out of space here oh no that's the concrete depot we still got space so unload and here you go do we need to move some metals north there should be some in range actually yeah let's move some metals north 
because all these buildings to the north need some metals in range of the closest drone controller. And right now they don't have any. So we'll just grab 30 metals and move them. There, done. And move them to the other depot. This one is in range, as you can see. So unload. That's mostly needed for maintenance. So, how's research? We are like 60% done with the drone hub already. We got some living quarters. Let's turn on the dome. We should have enough power, but I would rather make 100% sure. Sector scanned. Another sector scanned. So, do we need to move any more resources? Let's have a look. 12 polymers, 9 electronics, 9 machine parts, that should be fine. 6 machine parts, 9 electronics. Alright. It's all good then. So, meteor shower is over. Let's go check out the anomalies further to the south. We got three anomalies. That last one might be a little bit too far away, but these two are definitely close enough. Right now we are mostly waiting to refuel the rocket. Once it's refueled, we'll launch it back to Earth and bring our first colonists. So this will be worth at least 1000 research easily. Let's check our power grid during the night. We do have a lot of power stored. It should be enough to last through the night. But we can always build another wind turbine. It's not a terrible idea, I suppose. I will feel safer with another wind turbine. So let's just grab one more. It's just that wind turbines require machine parts Research for maintenance. There's the drone hub. So now we can build our own drone hub without having to get a prefab. And we'll check the other anomaly. This should be at least 1000 again. So, the drone hub. That requires 8 electronics and 12 metals. We do have 44 electronics right now. Mostly in here. That's 9. Where are they exactly? We got 9 in the Universal Depot. We got... Oh, we got 30 in this one. Okay. So how about we move some of them? Let's move 15. Off you go. Because we need them for the drone hub, obviously. And then unload. They need to be in range of the rocket. Off you go. And I think we can launch our other rocket already. Nope, not yet. We need six more fuel. Okay, then. Let's send this guy to get some metals. While we do other stuff. Where are some metals? We got some up here. Alright, let's do that then. So, load. Wait, what? That's not quite what I had in mind. Load resources. And then unload resources. Off you go. Research complete. And we got Explorer AI. So that gives us more research. Let's see what new techs we unlocked. Machine parts factory, yeah? That will be useful for sure. RC rover no longer needs recharging. Okay, we don't have RC rover right now, but that's a nice tech. Drone battery capacity increased by 50%. I like that one. So we'll get that after systematic training. And I think that's it for now. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can give our geologists a boost. 
because we'll need them to extract the metals. Speaking of which, let's build a metal extractor already. Not too close to the dome, but it has to be in range of the dome, because it needs actual workers from the dome. So right here is good. Then connect it to the power grid. Here you go. Okay then. Five more fuel needed. Give me the research, thanks. Oh, we already got it, right. Any more anomalies in the area? We got 1500 research from that, nice. That's what I like to see. This guy might need a battery charge. Seven metals. Yeah, let's send him back. And recharge his batteries. What's going on here? Storage space is full, really? Research complete. Milestone achieved. Oh, I think we just don't have enough drones. Because the concrete depot still has plenty of space. We just need to get more drones from Earth. There's the next tech that was wireless power. So that was the breakthrough, which gave us more funding because of our sponsor. And next up is systematic training. Okay, our power situation looks fine. We got plenty of power storage. And we are still working on the wind turbine. Do we even have enough machine parts in range? Yes, we do. Now, about that drone hub. Let's build it already, shall we? Where do we want exactly? Let's see. There's a lot of water to the east, but that's too far away. Still, we don't want it to overlap too much with our existing drone hub. We could make it overlap our storage area. That is actually a pretty good idea. But then I would have to move some of the storage. Yeah, it would be best if both our drone hubs were able to reach the storage area in the middle. It's a little bit too late for that kind of setup, but it's important where we're going to place the hub itself. So I'm thinking something like this. Maybe not too close to the concrete. Yeah, something like this would work. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is fine, I think. Might be a little bit close to the extractor. As an alternative, we could build it on this side. Which is also not such a terrible idea. If I really want to, I can already make it reach all the storage. Like this. But we also needed to reach the buildings to the north. Okay, this looks fine. What's the grade of this concrete right here? It's average. So this one is average, this one is also average. Average, very high. Yeah, concrete is not exactly a problem. Yeah, it really is not. We have plenty of concrete. Not to mention we will be having more than two drone hubs in the future. They aren't that hard to build. Okay, right here. That will overlap with some of the storage space. We won't be missing out on anything important. Alright, there, done. And connect it with a power cable. Here you go. And wait to build it. We got more concrete to the west. Concrete isn't a problem at all. Sector scan. There's also some anomaly underground water found. all the way to the north, but that's very low grade. We found more anomalies, nice one. So this one will unlock some new techs. 
And this one will give us more research. Nice. Let's go check that out right away, shall we? And not with the transport. The transport should unload the one metal he's carrying. Off you go. Come on, get to work. And let's queue up some techs. Maybe at least one more. Machine parts factory. That is pretty expensive, 3000. Let's get something cheaper. Drone swarm, yes, that is nice. Carry on. And we can launch the rocket. So off we go, to Earth. Once it arrives on Earth, we'll be able to bring a passenger rocket. That's the idea. And we can launch the other one as soon as we finish the drone hub. We might need some electronics in range. No, we have enough. Do we need metals? Yep, I think we need to move some metals. That's fine, we have plenty. We'll just move 30 metals. There. That actually wasn't even necessary, as far as I can tell. Research no, it wasn't. Complete. But let's do it anyway. And we got systematic training. Okay, carry on. Now we'll check the other anomaly. The building is not working, notification is all about the dome. They aren't working because there's nobody to work in them, obviously. We don't have any people yet. We will, soon enough. Speaking of which, the drone hub. Yeah, we definitely need more drones. We will get more drones with our first resupply rocket. Well, technically second, but you know what I mean. So, transport, let's go gather some metals, shall we? Might as well give him something to do. Anomaly analyzed. There's more New tags to available. The Earth Mars Initiative and Water beyond. Reclamation. Okay, so Water Reclamation unlocks one of the spires. A spire building is a building placed in the middle of the dome. Each dome can only have one. They usually have pretty powerful effects. Like this one drastically reduces the water consumption of the dome. So that is pretty nice. And then we got Earth Mars Initiative, which will give us more research. We can definitely get that. So we'll queue that up right away. And back to the Explorer. We'll go back for some power. Speaking of power, let's maybe grab a few more solar panels. I'll feel safer with more power generation, especially since we've been building a lot of things that require power. And solar panels only require metals for maintenance. That will do. Oh, is the transport's battery loaded? Yes, it is. Sort of. This is not a lot of metals, but every little bit helps. And running out of metals is a very, very bad thing. <laughs> we want to stock up on metals. Sector There's scan. no downside Select to stocking up on resources. Scan. Like, none. More scans are done, and we need to queue up some more scans. Now, once we scan an area, we can do another scan for deep resources, but we don't have the tech for that just yet. We will be able to do that in the future. Okay, I'm looking at sensor tower boss right now. 10% is a little bit low. 33, 37. We are going to need another tower pretty soon. Yep. This is that time when we'll need another tower. It's not exactly expensive, so we might as well get it. It only requires one electronic part. Yeah, I think we are going to grab one. Cable fault Speaking of electronics. Might want to move some. Oh no, 15 and 28 in the Universal Depot. Okay. So reload the battery. 
And we do have one more anomaly all the way to the southeast. This might be a little bit too far away. And if our explorer breaks down on the way, we will not be able to help it. Because we don't have a rover just yet. So I'm not going there, at least not yet. Maybe once we get a rover, but definitely not right now. So how's that drone hub? We are working on it, let's prioritize it a bit higher. And since our rocket arrived on Earth, we can get a passenger rocket now. So the way this works, you have categories with criteria you want your colonists to meet. And we can see that right now, 119 colonists out of 209 are matching the default criteria. So we can change a lot of them. We can change the age groups. If we don't want middle-aged people, we can exclude them. Because your colonists will die, eventually, from old age. Then we can choose specializations. We definitely want scientists, some geologists to work in the extractor, some botanists, to work at the farm. We'll need at least one medic. I don't think we need security just yet. We don't need engineers either, but we can grab one or two. Possibly. Then we got perks. So, for example, we got sexy perk, which greatly increases birth rate. Sure, we can get that. We got survivor. Loses less health without food, water, oxygen. Or when living in an unpowered dome. That one is good in case of a crisis. We got Workaholic. This is fine. We also got some flaws. Some of them are pretty bad. Like Idiot, which is why they are disabled by default. And then we got Quirks. Guru, Tourist and Vegan. Vegan has the best tooltip ever. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> yes, they will. So now, we can click Review and we'll be able to see who exactly we can bring. And we can choose the exact people we want on the rocket. So if we hover over them, we can see all the information about this person. Like this guy is male, adult, engineer, and he has a survivor trait. Now, we are going to need some geologists. So let's get three or maybe even four geologists. Then we'll get I would say four scientists, that's eight. Three geologists. Uh, hold on, we already got geologists. Yeah, actually, three geologists is fine, we don't need four. Okay. I don't want to lo lose track of what I picked. Right, we got four scientists and three geologists. Then we need some botanists. Four botanists to work at the farm. Three would probably be enough. I'm not really looking at the trades, because it doesn't matter that much. At least I'm not that picky. You certainly can be, if you want to do some extreme min-maxing. It's definitely a thing you can do. Then we want a medic. And we can bring one more person. Let's see. So, we could grab another botanist if we want to. We could get an engineer, but he won't be very useful just yet. So, I'm thinking now. One more person. We do have four scientists. Let's get a fourth geologist to work at the extractor. All right, fine. Here, so now we approved 12 colonies. And we can launch. Everything is ready. Now, they will bring some of their own food with them. 12 colonies will always bring 12 food. So we do not need food right away. And we can't actually make food right now without colonies. So it would be a bit of a problem if they didn't bring their own food. At least some of it. So once they arrive, we'll be able to assign some work shifts. We'll be able to pick what crops exactly we want to grow. In fact, 
let's have a look. So here at the farm we can see that the soil quality is 50%. Some of the crops increase soil quality and some of them decrease soil quality. So if we check potatoes for example, they have good yield but grow slowly and deplete the soil. We need 2.4 water, they take 5 days to grow and optimal harvest is 45. But they decrease soil quality by 10%. On the other hand, soybeans increase soil quality by 10%. But the optimal harvest is quite a bit lower. So for now I'm thinking we can grow soybeans twice and then some potatoes. And once we reach 100% like this, because we'll get plus 10% with each cycle, then we can change things around. But this is good enough for now. Are we done with that drone hub? Yes we are, so now we can launch our rocket. This is going to be a cargo rocket. Because we could use quite a few things actually. Off you go. Okay then. So how many drones do we have right now? We got 16 drones. Okay. We'll definitely want more though, this is not enough. And now we are waiting for our passenger rocket to arrive with our first batch of colonies. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.